I'm Chef Gabe, and this is Under the Hood. Today, we'll be making a lamb dish perfect for a special occasion. We'll be serving it with a creamy parsnip puree and a flavorful, no-hassle blackberry shallot sauce. What is a lamb loin? It's the lamb rack without the bone. Now I know this can be an expensive cut of meat, so we're gonna be using the sous vide method to ensure we don't overcook it. Ask your butcher to separate the loin from the rack. Save the bones for a lamb stock. Set the sous vide to 132 degrees Fahrenheit. Season the loin with salt and pepper. Place into a heavy Ziploc bag with a few slivers of garlic, a small piece of lemon peel, and a sprig of thyme and rosemary. Squeeze the air out of the bag and seal. Let it cook for one hour. Make the parsnip puree by peeling and slicing three cups of parsnips. Place them in a pot with approximately three cups of almond milk, a bay leaf, and a sprig of thyme and marjoram. Turn on the heat and simmer for 25 minutes or until a knife easily passes through the parsnips. Finish the puree by placing the parsnips in a blender with a quarter cup of the cooking liquid, a pinch of salt, and white pepper. Puree until smooth and set aside. If it's a little too chunky, add more liquid. To make the lamb crust, combine one cup of fried onions, one cup of toasted panko, and three tablespoons each of rough chopped tarragon, parsley, and chives. Pulse until roughly combined. Take out the lamb from the sous vide. Remove the loin from the bag and pat dry. Heat a pan with one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Once the oil is hot, quickly brown the loin on all sides. Remember, the lamb is already cooked. We're just browning all the sides to impart extra flavor. Once done, set aside on a paper towel. Wait, don't clean that pan. We're gonna be using this pan to make a quick and flavorful sauce. These brown spots are caramelized meat particles. They're gonna act like flavor bombs in our pan sauce. Heat the pan on a medium high flame. Add a quarter cup of small diced shallots and sweat until tender. Add a half cup of blackberries and cook for one to two minutes. Deglaze with a quarter cup of Herzog Cabernet or any other dry red wine. Add one tablespoon of agave, one teaspoon of red wine vinegar, and a cup of beef stock. Bring to a simmer and reduce by half. To finish the lamb, brush it with a good Dijon mustard and roll it in the herb breadcrumbs. Time to plate. We have the parsnip puree, the herb crusted lamb loin, the blackberry shallot sauce, and we'll garnish with some roasted kale chips. I hope you guys make this at home, but if you can't, come see us.